Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Today we're going to get back on the Mercedes SLK 55. We have everything for this car now. All the parts are here, we've got the bumper there. The old bumper still has all the grills in, which is down here behind my bike. So I need to strip that down. We have... The bonnet is back on in place, repaired. I've just bolted it back on so that it didn't get damaged. It's a big old bonnet. Um, headlights in. I put the headlight in because the owner came up and polished both the headlights a bit. So that's the replacement headlight. We've got the two wings up there. So we are ready to go. <laughs> Wheels are back, freshly powder coated, looking good. And we also have a new set of wheel balls because if you remember when I took them off, I think I told you, they were only held on by four threads, which is ridiculous, really. I think you're supposed to have between seven and 10. So I've got some 10 mil longer bolts. So they shouldn't be an issue now. And if we have a little look, I'm not sure if you can see, I'll just shine a torch into the threaded holes on the uh, caliper, carrier, I mean, uh, um, disc. If you look, I don't know if you can see. Look in there. No, I'm not too sure if it's coming out. But literally, yeah, the first half of the thread is clean. The second half is full of rust because there's not been a bolt in there for a long time. Now there's no way it came from factory with them bolts because they wouldn't allow it to leave only on four threads. Like I said, a minim the minimum is seven to 10 threads. Uh, so yeah, first things first, we're gonna get these wheels back on. I'm a bit um, bunged up today again. <laughs> gonna get these wheels back on, get it shifted out of this corner onto the ramp and then we're going to make a start well first of all stripping so obviously we need to remove both wings and then we're going to make a start building this car back up and obviously when we get to the point of fitting this wing we still need to pull out this corner this little this this corner of the crash bar that's what the owner wants that's what he's going to get so yeah, that's it really. I think, I mean, I'll get all the wheels on and I'll get it shifted out onto the ramp and then we'll make a start with a bit of time lapse. So let's get going. All right, it's moved, got the wheels on. Um, and yeah, the fronts went perfectly fine. That extra 10 mil thread is fine. But in hindsight, I probably should have gone for a five mil extra because the rears, it won't take the, the extra 10 mil. So it's, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing, I mean, them wheel bolts from cup to the end of the thread are 40 mil, the originals. I've gone for 50, maybe. Well, I don't think they were original actually in 40 mils. I don't think they are the original bolts. So there's no way it come from factory holding on with four threads. So maybe the originally from factory it came with 45 mil. Just guessing, don't know. Um, so yeah. We're on the ramp so we can start make a start now and we'll start with this driver's wing because it's currently in the right place we've got all nice gaps so if we refit the new driver's exact same place we can line the bonnet up to the driver's wing and then we can work across and get the passenger wing on lined up with the bonnet and then we'll know where this front uh, crash bar wants to be that's what i'm thinking so yeah that is the plan so I'm just going to dive into it. I don't know how these come apart. It's going to be a bit of a, a bit of guesswork. But we won't know until we've tried. So let's just get on with it and have a go.
Wow, that was a struggle. Massively overcomplicated. Massively. Uh, anyway, it's off. My biggest issue was this washer bottle being in here and not being able to get to these bowls. I mean, that, it wasn't easy getting this ice skirt off either, in all fairness, but I got that. But yeah, what an absolute pain in the backside. It, 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 even, it even hooks under there. So now all this is loose. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I've got snap bolts. It's just, just rusty rubbish. Really? Mmm. Right, anyway, I've got to get them two bolts out now because they had to snapped off underneath. I need to take off this bumper uh, side skirt clip that's riveted on. Of course it's riveted on, why not? And I need to fit it to that one. And then, and then get the other one back in. What a pain. I mean, yeah. I think I got a bit spoiled the last few days working on fiestas because this is an absolute nightmare compared to it. Absolute nightmare. <clears throat> anyway, it ain't going to do itself. And you know, the worst part about it is I've got the other side to do yet. Luckily, the other side obviously won't have a washer bottle. But um, we're still going to have to separate that side skirt from the wing. Great fun. Great fun. This car should have been built up before it got painted. Definitely, it's gonna be a mission not to mark these panels, I'm telling you. Anyway, let's carry on, let's get it done. Right, I've got the wings on. They're not in the perfect position yet, and I haven't tucked in the side skirts because I'm not sure if I need to move it, but in terms of gaps, gap's nice. Um, I've got it nice around this headlight, which hasn't moved, so hopefully we're good with the bonnet, but I haven't checked yet. Um, I'm at the point where I need to put these air pillar covers back on. But the problem is, they tuck behind the wings and then push in from that angle into clips on the air pillar. So I need to remove the top because the bottom has to go in first. There's something holding down there. So we're going to have to lower the roof a bit, a bit to see if we can see what's behind there. Um, hopefully it's easy to get to. But yeah, it went okay that, that wing went okay. I mean, this wing is on as well. Again, nicely around the headlight. Nice gap at the back. Same issue with the air pillar cover. And then obviously we've got this um, crash bar we need to pull. So this bracket here is where it should be. So that shows just how far it's pushed it back. So we need to pull this forward. 
until we can get them lined up with them holes there. I mean, like I said, it's, there's not a lot of strength in this at all. It moves with my hand. I can wobble it with my hand. So, I mean, I won't need much to, to pull that. One moment. I'm back. Phone always rings at the most inconvenient time. Um, I think there's nothing much else to say, really. Uh, yeah, like I said, I need, we need to get this roof down a bit. I mean, should we see if we can do it now? Let's have a look. Have a look. I'm just going to put it fully down because it doesn't seem to like being halfway between positions. There we go. Alright. Okay, yeah, so there's a screw there. See that there? So we pop that out. That cover should come off. And then uh, it should be pretty easy then to sort out. Let's turn this ignition off. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, okay, that shouldn't be too bad then. I think I might do that now then. Pop that, fit them properly. <coughs> excuse me. And then move forwards to... I mean, I suppose we need to check this bonnet. But no, I want, I want them down first. It's going to catch. Yeah, all right. I'm going to get these air pillars sorted, air pillar covers. And then I'm going to check the bonnet for alignment with this wing. If that suits, we can put this washer bottle back up, side skirt clip back in, and get this wing lined up with the bonnet. And then it's down to pulling that. Once that lines up, build up the front bumper, slap the front bumper on. I think we've done the hard part now, really. So yeah, let's let's continue. I need to get this car done. Because um, the guy who owns this, he's bought another car for me to fix. I think we all know what that is there. We've seen one of them before, haven't we? It is actually a proper John Cooper works. Um, yeah. So that's something else I need to get on to, even though I've got one sat there. Never mind, never mind, let's get on with this. Right, a bit more progress for you. I've tinkered away a bit off camera, especially, um, do you know, with this. Oh, there's a little chip on that, a little, oh, it's a bogger, no, it's not. Uh, as you can see, the doors has been out. I've given, I've, I've, pulled, I've pulled the crash bar back out, put it that way. <clears throat> so that's all back in position now, bolted back up to the wing. Perfectly good, great. Um, now I know, I know it's not the perfect way to do it, but that's the way that me and the owner have decided to do it. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's, that's the way it is. I mean, like I said, it's not my car. It's up to the owner how much money they want to put into it and he's happy with what's been done. It's nice and straight, it's in the right place. So yeah, it's done. I've also made a start on building the new bumper up. You can see the old ones here. New one is there. Got a few bits in. Got the main grill in, which was a real pain to get off. Very well secured. A um, little bit of a duct here. I've got the caps back in for the washer jets. The rest of it now won't take too much time, really. Parking sensors, a bit of foam. Um, the spotlight trims and the spotlights, get them in, and then we are going to be fitting it to the car. I mean, not a great deal left to do now on this. I know it always looks like a lot without the bumper on, but just literally throwing the bumper on there will make a big difference, it always does. And I'm hoping, um, yeah, another couple of hours, and it'll be on the floor, on its wheels, ready for a quick test drive, which I'm excited about. Yeah, I am. 
I, I, like, I do like this car. It does, it, it's the sound for me. It's just the sound. Sounds great. So, I'm gonna carry on building this bumper up. And then I'll put a bit of time lapse on and we'll, we'll get it fit and have a look at the car and how it should look. I'm hot now, but it's on. I mean, sitting it in place was the easy part. <sighs> getting it all lined up and getting all the fixings in it has took a good long time. Probably one of the most difficult cars to work on this I've ever, I've ever had the privilege of. I suppose you could say German engineering at its finest. Um, but yeah, it's come together nice. It's looking good. The colours are good, I tell you. The match is really nice. Um, I mean, the only problem we've got... So if you look at this spotlight surround, it's got a chrome trim. On this one, it's missing. I didn't notice. And it's part of this grille, but you can change it from the outside. So we need another one of these. That's what we need. Yeah. But other than that, it's all together. I need to put the wheel on the other side. I mean, it'll look a lot better once it's had a wash. I mean, it's absolutely filthy now. Absolutely filthy. See, it's filthy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's almost there. I need to put the number plate holder on and put the number plate on. Put the wheels on it. And I think I might give it, give it its maiden voyage down the road. Uh, I think I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. Can't help, can't, can't help myself blow off a bit of that dust, eh? <clears throat> Excellent. Really happy. I mean, it's been here a while, this, but like I said, the, the biggest delay was... I think now on five weeks waiting for the parts to be painted at the paint shop. They had various issues, um, but they've done a good job to, to be fair. It's a like I say, it's a really good paint match. So it's out in the sun and it's clean, it's just as good. But yeah, it's, come, it's coming together. So I'm going to carry on a bit more, get plates on it, like I said, get the wheels on. I'll get it down on the floor. Uh, we've also got the vents to put in the bonnet and I remember they were a pain in the backside to get out so they're going to be just as, as hard to get in, I think. But yeah, we made, we made it, haven't we? We've made it. It's the final touches now. Right. <clears throat> yeah, it's good. Um, all put together now. Finished. A few little tweaks to do. <clears throat> I just nipped up the road in it. Sounds great. And uh, it, it pulls quite well, actually. It's got quite a bit of punk. But the tracking is massively out to the point where, um, obviously, it's, it's triggering the traction control because it thinks there's steering angle input when there isn't. Um, so if it goes out again, that needs addressing because, obviously, it's going to scrub the tyres. But that was just a test run, literally just half a mile up the road. And, it, yeah, a very nice car, very nice car. It's such a nice noise when you do give it a bit of beans. And yeah, it's got a bit of polk. Um, I'm going to reserve judgment yet. 
does feel punky uh, until tracking sorted and I have a, a proper go in it. But pretty impressed really so far. Pretty impressed so far. It looks, looks the business, doesn't it? I think it looks a nice car, this. It'll transform it again when it's had a wash. And I think that's going to be the next step. I think um, I'll get it washed, sort the tracking out, nice clean up and a tidy. And then we'll just come back for one more walk around, one more listen to the old exhaust. And um, I think we'll be calling it a day on this car. If you need to, how dirty the wheels are already. So all the brakes have got a bit of surface rust, so they need to clean up. Oh yeah, well, nice car. Difficult to work on, but nice car overall. So yeah, I'll come back. It's not going to be. Uh, it'll be in this video, but it's not today for me. I'm going, I'm going home now. It's hot, so um, yeah. Not much to do. Good wash. Bit of tinkering, and we are done. All right, there we go. Whew, I am boiling today. 32 degrees. That's why I've just washed it inside the unit. There was no way I was standing outside there washing a the car getting baked. Oh, right, yeah. So I think we are done with this SLK 55. It's turned out really, really well. Nicely refurbed wheels. The paint's beautiful. Even the match is really good. And you wouldn't you wouldn't able to tell that's different paint, would you? That looks really well. And yeah, in the sunlight, look, it's, it lightens up so much. Whew. So yeah, MOT'd as well. It's been for MOT today. Passed no advisories, which is incredible, really, isn't it? Um, a really, really good car. I mean, it pulls pretty impressively as well. The noise is to die for. Um, Really, really nice V8 rumble when, you know, when you really give it some. <clears throat> Impressed, yeah, I am actually. For the age of the car, I mean, it's a cruiser. It, so it's roof down, barbling down the road. Um, gearbox is a bit lazy, but yeah, it is 17 years old. Even though it's got the 7, uh, 7 G Tronic gearbox in it, 7 speed auto, it is, it is lazy, com obviously, compared to today's standards of instant f1 style gear, gear changes it's a bit lazy but it's a great car um yeah great car i mean I'm, i don't know the numbers on this now in all honesty the car from auction was uh, it was about i think was it about five five two fifty something like that now obviously parts have been expensive. We've had to get two genuine brand new wings from Mercedes. They were 350 each. And then obviously I had to get them painted. The bonnet had to be repaired and painted. The front bumper, I think was 600 second hand with chunks missing out the bottom. They're very hard to get hold of these bumpers because like I said, they are specific to the SLK 55 because of them. So that had to be repaired and painted. Um, the suspension components, it's cost him a lot to get the wheels refurbed um because they were really bad so yeah it's had a bit of money spent on it i'm gonna hazard a guess <clears throat> what? uh what's it costing six nine, two i'm gonna say i mean like so this is a bit of a guess it's about eight and a half grand it's out there I mean, when it was brand new, what would this car have been? 70-ish, maybe? Maybe a bit less back then? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I like it. I think it's a cool car. Should we give it one more little rumble before we end this video? <coughs> I think it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? See if I can uh, just sit you down. The volume. I've got the wireless mic there. I hope this comes out.
Did you hear that? I don't know how it came out. But no, it runs really well. Uh, no lights on the dash. The roof works perfect. Everything works. Everything works in here. Electro electronically, everything is perfect. Decent on the mileage front. Where, how do we get rid of... Uh, 62,681 miles. I mean, yeah, it's it's cool. It's decent. So we are done. We are done with the SLK 55. I hope you've enjoyed it. I mean, yeah, I've enjoyed doing this car. It's been difficult at times. There was a long wait for the parts being painted, which was annoying. So it was sat in that corner collecting dust. It should have been done a lot quicker. But it's done and it runs well, it dries well, everyone's happy, that's all that matters. So as always, thank you very much for watching my videos. Massively appreciated and we'll be back very soon with some more videos. So until then, thank you, cheers.